Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Good. I'm Phyllis Brown, Michigan Golfer. So congratulations on your last win at the Senior Open. That's fabulous. Thanks. I appreciate it. I feel honored to be in your presence today. Anyway, um, so you obviously won the Buick Open here at Warwick Hills, and you won your first Champions Tour, um, you know, when you just started on the Champions Tour. So tell us about the course and what you like about Warwick Hills. Uh, well, I, I guess we're all <laughs> we're all selfish, so I like that I've played well there in the past. I, I know that. Um, but I've always been comfortable there. Uh, you know, the players and everyone uh, on the PGA Tour, Champions Tour, we've always enjoyed the community and how they supported that event the number of fans that come out, the, uh, you know, everyone has a good time at 17 and it's a boisterous crowd and, and the folks on the champions tour love that. Uh, oh, yeah. And then for me, for me personally, I think a lot of it is uh, the golf course itself. It, uh, it's a tight golf course. Uh, you have to put the ball in play. You have to put it in the fairway. If you do that, you have the opportunity to attack with a lot of short irons with a lot of wedges. And so when I'm playing well, those are kind of the, you know, those are elements to my game that have always been strong. And, sure. and I think that's why I've had success there in the past, but you know, you still have to go and you have to hit the shots and hit the fairways and, uh, and be patient. But, uh, if, if you do that, and, and I was able to drive the ball very, very well last year. And, uh, my wedge game was very strong last year. And so I made a lot of birdies off of, uh, off of those opportunities. And, and that's why I ended up ultimately winning the tournament. Well, what, uh, Mr. Fear, what keeps your tenacity and going into tournaments, like trying to make your third win, what keeps you going? And I mean, do you have a physical routine that you maintain or the mental aspect? Tell us a little bit about that. I think to, uh, I mean, for the guys to stay, you know, for, for guys to stay competitive on the PJ tour late in their forties, I think, you know, you're, you're trying to avoid injury. You're trying to keep yourself in pretty good shape. Uh, but a lot of it is kind of the mental drive and the ability to, uh, you know, to still wake up every morning and want to get after it and work hard and improve your game and, and put the time in. Um, and so, you know, I, I'm kind of enjoying myself on the champions tour. I'm enjoying the three round tournaments. I'm enjoying, uh, you know, kind of being around some of my old friends and the guys that I played the bulk of my career against that I haven't seen, you know, I hadn't seen in the last, some of them, you know, last five to 10 years. And, uh, so I've enjoyed that, but uh, more than anything, I still enjoy competing and, and uh, you know, playing the champions tour, the golf courses aren't short. They're, you know, somewhere between say 69, 50 and 7,050 yards long. We're still playing around 7,000 yards, but uh, with equipment and that, I hit the ball plenty far to get a lot of short irons in my hand again, where I wasn't getting on the PJ tour. Right. Uh, I get a lot more chances to play offense and, and, and try to make a bunch of birdies where I wasn't getting that chance on the, on the PGA tour. And so the game is, uh, it, it's been more fun. It's been more fun getting in contention uh, a little bit more often and having chances to win golf tournaments. And so with that, I've, I've worked really hard uh, on my game because I've just enjoyed the competition and, and I still have that drive to, uh, to want to play well. Well, that's fabulous. I know the people here in Michigan are looking forward to seeing you again this year, week of August 23rd. Um, we talked a little bit, uh, Mr. Furyk, about with Ch uh, with Ally about the money that they raised for this tournament. It's like 3.2 million. Yeah, it's and, amazing. And they said that um, that's the most, like the the Buick Open even, you know, raised when it was here. And I know you're very involved with your own charity. So, like, what does that mean to you in terms of, you know, the charity and what the tournament does for helping people? Right. So. My wife and I are hosting uh, the first time this year. Uh, you can see Constellation on my chest right here. Uh, so the Constellation Furyk and Friends event, it's a Champions Tour event in Jacksonville, Florida. So, so to hear that Ally raises over $3 million for charity, yes, that, that should be the most that any Champions Tour event raises. Uh, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> I think there's a number of reasons behind that. And one, you have to start with your title sponsor. So Ally has a huge commitment to that community, has a huge commitment to that tournament. And they drive uh, that ability to, to raise that much money. And then you've got a huge support from your community there and, and a lot of great work from the tournament. So uh, it all starts with a great title sponsor and, and Ally's got some amazing, uh, I noticed last year, you know, on the driving range, we're trying to knock wedges into, uh, into a net on the range. And for every ball that goes in there, they're going to, you know, donate another thousand dollars to charity. And, 
uh, they, they just do a, a number of great promotions. And so I saw it last year without having fans. Uh, I'm really sure. anxious to see this year uh, how they do that and, and draw their, their fans in. And it was so hard to, to be able to, without the community support, without the fans on the golf course, it's hard to raise dollars for charity. So you had a great sponsor step up and, and, and probably take the brunt of that and donate a lot of money themselves. And, and uh, they're to be commended for it. You know, the, the, the community probably thrives and, and, and depends on, uh, on, on, on great companies like that. Right. Well, that's, uh, you mentioned, you know, um, their commitment and, you know, during COVID. So Mr. Fear, how did, how did you feel when you were playing not to have the crowds out there? Yeah, it, it was awkward. We, I saw it a lot for, for basically almost an entire year. I saw it a lot before I got the ally because I was playing on the PGA tour, uh, for a while and it's awkward it's really strange it's different uh it became almost normal after a while which i never want to say again i mean we enjoy <laughs> having the fans out we enjoy the the claps the cheers we enjoy holes like 17 uh at warwick hills or uh, 16 at phoenix uh those are fun and i know the the, the fans enjoy it 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 um you know, we missed having them out. So uh, I know there's still, we're not over the hump yet. I know there's right. a little bit of a resurgence here in, in the U.S. And in my hometown in Jacksonville, there's been a big resurgence. So, uh, you know, I would love to uh, to kind of, <laughs> we all want to put this behind us and kind of move forward and do it in a, in a safe uh, fashion. Right. So, Mr. Fair, one last question. Um, do you ever get tired of hearing the word champion in your name? <laughs> uh, it, it's... <laughs> You know, I, I, what, what, I guess what gets me up in the morning, what, what, uh, the reason I go to the range, the reason I work on my game so hard is that I, I like trying to win golf tournaments. I like being in contention. I like being under a lot of stress. Um, and then you get to kind of see how, uh, how that hard work is going to pay off. And sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but, uh, I enjoy getting in the heat and contention. And, and then when you can, you know, when you can come out on top and, and win golf tournaments, it makes it all the worthwhile. So it's, it's been a, uh, you know, it's been almost a year now on the, on the champion store and, and I've been able to, uh, to win three times. It's been a lot of fun and, and getting that little taste again and, and getting in the winner's circle is, uh, is definitely not going to make me lazy. It's going to make me work that much harder to, to try to keep winning. Well, thank you, Mr. Ferrick. We look forward to seeing you the week of the 23rd. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.